well won. And neatly worked now into the half of uh, Patrick Bamford. Not too far wide of Lumley's post that. A real tussle in the centre there. And that's a decent ball and Critchlow's away here. It's Gianni Critchlow around Perntriou and QPR lead. Cool finish from Gianni Critchlow. Oh, it's a free header. And it's bundled in by Harley Wise. And just past the half hour mark, Queen's Park Rangers lead Crystal Palace by two goals to nil. It's out by Williams. And he's set Bamford away here. The angle's against him. It's still Bamford. And it was a bit too close to Lumley in the end for Bamford's liking. That might work out for Palace here. They've got runners to the left, goes it alone, and Lumley makes a smart stop. Better from Palace though. Bamford's in a bit of space on that far side. Here is Patrick Bamford now. Three in the box to aim for. Couldn't quite reach them. But here's Bamford again. Oh, splendid finish. Early in the second half, Crystal Palace reduced the deficit through Patrick Bamford. Nicely flicked on. Here was Mitchell. Early ball in. Converted well by Ben Gladwin. And Queen's Park Rangers restore their two goal cushion. Still going. Oh, and. Uh, was that handball? I think it was. It's a penalty for QPR. Frankie Sutherland will take it. Eventually. Sutherland. Oh, what a save from Perntru to keep Palace in the game. Been an action packed affair here this afternoon. Roll. Keeper who's missed it. Oh no. It's an own goal. Palace needs something and they need it soon. Oh, nearly got it as well. Fantastic work from uh, Lumley, the QPR keeper. They're queuing up in there. Furlong's there. And Furlong puts the game to bed now. Queen's Park Rangers lead 5-1. Have have strung some decent moves together down at this end. Plenty of bodies in the centre here. Good save by Lumley, but Gray is there. And Jake Gray does get a late consolation for Crystal Palace. Won't change the outcome of the game though.